Hi, and welcome back to Tech5 Production. And finally, after months and months of waiting, it finally arrived. All the way from Canada, the LTT screwdriver. And no, this was not sponsored or paid in any way by Linus. I bought this with my cold, hard-earned cash. And you can be sure, I'm going to make a video about it. Let's talk about this. Okay, now before this video review begins, some context and background. Uh, before I worked in TechPipe production, I was mainly a PC technician or PC builder for about four years, and I built PCs on a daily basis. So that's what I'll be reviewing this screwdriver on basis on. How does it work as a PC builder's tool? And to give you guys some more context, before I gotten this screwdriver, this was all my main screwdriver, especially this Stanley multi-bit head screwdriver. But these are as far as my tools screwdriver knowledge goes before getting the LTT screwdriver. Now, how does this screwdriver compare with the rest here? So let's start off with the design and how the aesthetic of this screwdriver looks. And right off the bat is the LTT screwdriver feels good, solid, has a very nice weight to it, and overall it just has a very premium feel to it. Now, Linus promotes it as being perfectly balanced, and he can balance it with one finger, but uh, I won't call it perfectly balanced, but it is a very balanced screwdriver, and the overall tri-loop design that uh, LTT team has went for over here makes the grip very ergonomic and easy to hold. That being said, however, I would imagine if you're someone with a slightly smaller hand, it may be slightly harder to hold this screwdriver due to the unique design of this tri-loop design. And not having any rubberized grip on the handle over here of this screwdriver does make it slightly harder to turn on tighter things that requires a slightly higher top force. But overall, it's a very nice screwdriver to hold and it looks nice as well. Now, another thing to talk about the design over here is that LTT does give you the selection of going full black or black and orange. And as you can see from this screwdriver, I went with the black and orange design as it makes it stand apart from the rest of my screwdriver over here. And I guess if you're an LTT fan, you can see it from straight glances that, oh, it's an LTT screwdriver. So I guess it's good design over there that makes it stand out compared to the other screwdriver in the market. Okay, so as a PC builder, the thing that I wanted to be the most important on this screwdriver was its magnet strength. As with my previous screwdrivers, their magnet strength either wore over time or weren't very strong to begin with, such as this Stanley one, it magnet, it's barely even magnetic. So it made PC building quite hard, as anyone who's built a PC before would know the convenience of having a strong magnet. And I'm glad to say that the claims from LTT is that it's true. The magnet on this screwdriver is very strong. As you can see, I can even lift up this screwdriver over here. Now this makes the overall workflow of building a PC a lot easier, especially on things such as an AIO from my own experience, because as anyone who's built an AIO on a PC before, especially on the top mounted one, you always have to do this very awkward dance of holding the radiator while the other one is slowly trying to slot in the screw from the top if you don't have another person to help you out. So by having a strong magnet, it's able to carry the whole screwdriver at the tip of this screwdriver and do, thanks to this ratcheting mechanism, which I'll go on to later, it makes it possible to install an AIO as a single individual person a lot easier. Thanks to this, like that. So yeah, it's a good magnet. Now the next thing I would like to talk about this screwdriver would be its bit loader and the bits that come with the screwdriver itself. Now the LTT screwdriver comes default with 12 screw bits over here and these are the shorty bits that LTT themselves use and you will be able to use other screwdriver bits as well, the longer one, but you will only be able to put 6 of them instead of 12 of them as this was one of the sacrifices that Team LTT said they had to do. Uh, the inside of this holder is made out of Delsin plastic according to Linus and he said they chose this material because it's got great wear characteristic. Now personally though, I feel that this plastic feel a bit on the cheaper side as I feel like it might break over time as I keep taking out and putting in uh, the bit 
the bit for the screw. So I hope that doesn't happen. And I guess this is something that I can only find out with time to tell. But overall, the plastic on the holder over here doesn't feel very strong or sturdy. It feels quite brittle actually, but hey, it managed to hold all 12 bits over here. So the screwdriver comes with 12 bits as said previously, and these are the shorty bits from LTT. So the most common one that you will likely be using would be the Phillips head on this screwdriver, would be the Phillips head 0, 1, and 2 that's provided on this screwdriver for most PC builds. As the Phillips head 0, you'll most likely be using it for M.2 and Phillips head 2 for every other thing else for the PC build. But other than that, they also included a few more other bits such as the flat head bits from small to big size. Now these aren't normally used as much, however, I have used some flat head screws over the years as building PC, such as on the Cooler Master H500P glass panel, the older ones, they did use the flat head instead of the Phillips head, so it's nice that it's included here as well. Now the other included hex bit over here would be the metric hex bit and the square hex bit along with one magnetic bit over here to allow you to grab any screws that you have fallen to your casing and you can't reach and overall it's just a hex bit dedicated for a magnetic head but personally I've never really used this hex bit before as the magnet on this screwdriver is already plenty strong so I haven't really need to use this hex bit but I guess it's nice that it's included with this screwdriver so the next two hex bit that I like to talk about would be the metric hex bit along with the square hex bit now the metric hex bit is essentially an allen key hex bit for your screwdriver and it's nice that it's included with this set of screwdriver as well as there was one casing that I worked on so far that did require an allen key to open it despite some of the diverged joke being said here. The 280X Corsair Crystal did require an allen key to open the side panel for the glass so it's nice that the allen key hex bit was included with this screwdriver as standard however if the size is correct or not will need to be tested out as we don't have the casing with us at the moment. Now the thing that can't be appreciated that come along with this hex bit, not hex bit, the screwdriver bits would be the square hex bit because I have never seen or used any square hex bit for any PC build in my life before. Instead, what I would trade these two square hex bit instead would be for the M3 hex nut bit. Now what is that is essentially a hex bit to allow you to unscrew and tighten the motherboard standoff screw that a lot of budget casing actually requires you to do. And they don't normally come off with the, the thing to allow you to unlock and lock the standoff. So it would be nice if LTT can provide that screw bit instead of the square screw bit. And to make things worse, you cannot even purchase that specific M3 hex nut bit on their website so you can't really finish a full PC build without that thing on certain cases. Now this was really disappointing to me because uh, I mainly got this Stanley screwdriver last time as well as hope that it can screw in the standoff screw for the motherboard on the casing but it can't as well so when I first heard that LTT was making their own screwdriver I was really hoping that it can straight away screw in the standoff screw for the motherboard but they can't do that as well. Maybe for the next iteration of the LTT screwdriver, the version 2, I'm hoping that they will include that hex bit and provide an option for us that's using this current generation of LTT screwdriver to have the M3 hex nut bit straight away. Okay, the next thing I would like to talk about on this screwdriver would be the ratcheting mechanism of this screwdriver as it's one of the big selling points that Linus was pointing out for this screwdriver as well. Now, I never use a ratcheting screwdriver before so this is technically my first time using it but after using it for quite some time now I've come to appreciate the convenience of having a ratcheting mechanism on the screwdriver as this makes single hand usage of the screwdriver a lot easier such as the situation that I mentioned just now where you're installing the AIO with one hand and the other hand requires to turn the screwdriver instead of turning your whole hand you can just turn with the ratchet although the ratcheting torque force for this ratchet is not very strong it still gets the job done for most of the screws and an extra side note that i like just to point out about this ratcheting mechanism is that it's quite addictive the sound that it makes where it goes
until I find myself playing with this ratchet thing whenever I need something to like fidget around. I just take this screwdriver and start spinning it like this because the sound and ratchet, ratcheting mechanism that it makes is really satisfying. Wow. Yeah, it's good. So other than the ratcheting mechanism, let's talk about the shaft a bit of this screwdriver. Now the shaft of this screwdriver does come in black as well for another version. And yes, I actually do have that one as well. And I have it over here. However, according to Linus, the black shaft version of this screwdriver, the black color of it does wear out over time. So if you're someone who's planning to use this screwdriver a lot for general usage or PC building, if you're a PC technician, maybe don't get the black color one as yeah, the colors might chip off according to Linus. But overall, the shaft feels very solid and very sturdy, perfect for a lot of PC building. That being said, however, I do kind of wish that the shaft has a slightly longer option because on certain cases, if you have a very big tower cooler or air cooler, I just cannot reach it in with this shaft as it's not long enough. Would prefer it something like the Be Quiet one where the shaft is a lot longer, allowing you to sneak into a lot tighter places of screws. Now overall, the LTT screwdriver is a great screwdriver. One that I can see that the LTT team has poured a lot of blood and sweat into it as almost all of the things are very well designed and overall it just makes it a very nice experience to use. That being said, however, will I recommend this screwdriver? Eh, not really. The price of this screwdriver makes it a really hard to sell item as at Malaysia over here, it costed me about 400 plus ringgit just to get this screwdriver, shipping included. But still, that's a hefty ask for a screwdriver. For example, the Stanley screwdriver over here only costed me about 15 bucks, but I mean, it's not a ratcheting screwdriver. Or even if we take out something that I used to use quite a lot as well, which is this electric screwdriver from Bosch, where it costed me only about 180 ringgit. This makes it a very hard screwdriver to push, even though it's really a very well-designed screwdriver. But if you're a big fan of LTT content, such as myself, then yeah, I would say it's worth consider a purchase to help support LTT team as well. See, I even bought two. Oh, it's very expensive, but yep, it's a very great screwdriver. The only thing that's lacking, I would say, would be the M3 hex nut bit over there to allow you to screw in the motherboard standoff. That is the only thing for me that's keeping this screwdriver from becoming the perfect screwdriver for PC building. Thanks everyone for watching this review of the LTT screwdriver. This is a more personal review that I wanted to do for quite some time now as I've been waiting this screwdriver for a long time. I hope you guys had as much fun as I did of using this screwdriver and yeah, if you guys have any questions that you would like to know about the LTT screwdriver on how my user experience of it was, you can comment below as well and I will get to the answers for you guys. See you guys around.